Good evening and welcome to France and to the competition in Marseille. We will uh, compete in four events tonight and the first will be the women's vault and uh, first starter here, Anna Kovalyova. Twisting Yurishenko but under rotating that vault. Unfortunate for uh, the Russian and uh, therefore falling down on her knees in the landing. As you can see here, not quite finished. Unable to stick that landing. few deductions for not being able to keep her body line straight throughout the vault and uh, interesting to see what the final score will be but she is preparing now for her second vault Anna Kovalyova Russia <laughs> better this time around but uh, the difference is that she's over rotating the vault this time and uh, that handspring tucked once again unable to uh, take that landing and a Cavalier not a good day here in Marseille Fellow Russian teammate Anna Pavlova getting ready now for uh, her start in vault. We have the score for uh, Anna Kovalyova, 8.0 her final score. And uh, well, that will put her way down in the uh, results list. Perhaps Anna Pavlova then can uh, do a better job here in Marseille. Time for her first vault. Well, much better from Anna Pavlova. We saw her teammate uh, Kovalyova do that vault with the full twist. But uh, Pavlova half twist onto the horse and then lay out to finish. And uh, one step in the landing. Oh, well, it's uh, good work from uh, Anna Pavlova. Big favorite here, of course, being Andrea Raducan, the Romanian, and uh, her strongest competitor. In my eyes, Sabina Koyakar. All right then, second time round, Anna Pavlova now. Good vault here and. Uh, will put the pressure on the gymnast to follow. Oh, the same vault, but uh, with another half twist. And once again, uh, it's good work from Anna Pavlova. Bending the knees and uh, flexing the feet a bit, but uh, despite that and uh, the step in the landing, it's good work from uh, Anna Pavlova and uh, we will in a few seconds time receive the score for the Russian. Remember Kovalyova score 8.0 but she will beat that by a huge margin 
Au son de cheval d'or, représentant l'équipe des Pays-Bas, pour sa première exécution, Verona Vandeleur. Verona Vandeleur, now from uh, the Netherlands. All the same bolt as we saw from Kovaliova, but this time much better and the Vandeleur is off to a good start. As we receive the score for Anna Pavlova, 9.231 final score and uh, that is good, very good. The question is, is it good enough to beat the two Romanians coming up as gymnast number 6 and 7? last two finalists here in Marseille but Vandeleur is off to a good start as we said at Yurashenko full twist really good and there is the score Anna Pavlova 9.231 she's out better her teammate uh, Kovalyova with 1.231 Vandeleur is second now. This time Yurishenko hiked position and uh, that will cost her since that vault uh, isn't as difficult as uh, her first vault. Once again you have that half twist onto the horse and then a half twist and finishing in piked style but uh, well it's good work but it shouldn't be enough to uh, beat Anna Pavlova I'll have to wait and see there as uh, her teammate Gabrielle Vam prepares for her first vault The starting field here in France consists of uh, the two Russians and uh, the two gymnasts from the Netherlands that you have already seen and then it's uh, Radikan and Kodjukar from Romania with Daniel Hippolyte the Brazilian but now good first vault from Gabriel Vam Handspring half twist, pike position, and uh, well, no major errors in the vault, but uh, the difficulty level not as high as we would have hoped. Vandeleur not taking the lead, a 9.144 is uh, not enough to beat Anna Pavlova, but she is in second place at the moment. that position hardly threatened by teammate uh, Gabriel Vam. from Vam not being able to push the uh, board as hard as she liked and uh, not getting the height needed to finish that kind of vault as she comes off the uh, roundabout she is a bit high up on the horse not being able to push it as hard as she'd liked Well, that was unfortunate. I think she'll beat Kovalyova since Kovalyova fell in both her vaults, but uh, still a long way off Vandeleur. This is uh, Daniela Hippolito.
from Brazil. The fifth starter here in uh, Marseille in the vault final. Still to come, the two Romanians, uh, Raducan and Kojokar. The latter of the two being the one to start. But first, let's focus on uh, the Brazilian Daniel Hippolito. start from her. The landing is uh, the landing is good. There is that jump at the end showing signs of uh, a bit unstable landing. Gabrielle Vam 8.594 her final score. Once again, as we said uh, regarding Gabrielle Vam, Hippolito also having problems with uh, her difficulty level. If she is to threaten the uh, world's best gymnast like Radu Khan, and uh, for that sake Anna Pavlova, she needs to improve on her uh, difficulty level. Second time around now. It's two good vaults from uh, Hippolito, two uh, safe vaults, but nothing uh, spectacular, nothing that uh, catches the judge's eyes, and uh, nothing that uh, will rise very high. We have the score for Van Leur to beat, 9.144. might be uh, reasonably close to that but uh, no way near Anna Pavlo was 9.231 we'll have to wait and see first let's take a look at uh, Sabina Kojokar Three Romanians here today in the women's team, Sylvia Strescu, the one we'll see later on competing in beam. We've received a score for Daniel Hippolito, that was 9.094, so third position for her as Kodjukar makes her way forward and, uh, well, that is a good vault, that is that step in the landing and... Uh, Perhaps bending the knees a bit throughout the vault. Let's watch the replay once again and uh, yes, certainly bending the knees towards the end of the vault. A bit over rotated and therefore that step in the landing costing her of course deductions from the judges. have the score confirmed for Hippolito 9.094 so at the moment it's Pablo ahead of Vandeleur and Hippolito in a third position <laughs> well Kajakar is second now seems to have a bit of problems with her wrists Are any problems here? Well, oh, that is a good vault. That certainly is a good vault, and uh, well, this will be a very tight race between Kodjokar and Pavlova. Yuroshenko with double twist. The 
body line a bit better this time around and uh, the landing nothing major there Andrea Raducan of course watching the scoreboard closely but most of all preparing for her first vault Dernière gymnaste de cette finale du saut de cheval représente l'équipe de Roumanie, se présente Andrea Raducan. Yes. Good start from Raducan. Still, you have that uh, big step in the landing. This is a wor world-class vaulter. We all know that. The score then for Kodjokar 9.238. So that is enough to beat Pavlova, but just with 0 0.007 of a point. Well, that really is. Kojakar then in the lead. What can Andrea Raducan do? Good second vault here, and she will definitely threaten Sabina Kojakar. Raducan, final starter here in Marseille in the women's vault final. Good first vault. Now needs to perform at her best second time around. And she certainly does. Well, Andrea Radican or Sabina Kojakar. I really can't tell them apart. Might be those straight legs and uh, beautiful body line that uh, separates Andrea Radican from Kojakar. But I really have to wait for the judges to have their say. But uh, it's a beautifully performed vault, and uh, well, there you have it. Andrea Raducan takes victory 9.363 ahead of Kojakar Pavlova in third. And we have Vandalur, Hippolito, Vam, and Kovalyova as we now move on to the women's beam and the first starter representing the home nation France Maud Cola Balance mistake there from Maud and once again Cola and teammate Nelly Soupe that won't battle for victory here but they need international experience and this is a perfect opportunity for them strong names coming later on Pablo Vastrescu, Raducan, Hippolito and of course Ludmila Ejova And even if uh, Maud Kula were to uh, perform at her best a perfect routine, she would never be able to beat the Romanians and the Russians because uh, her difficulty level is not high enough. An important competition for the French national team. She had a few balance mistakes and then a step in the landing after that double twist. And here is her teammate now, Nelly Soupe. 